Hey YouTube, JP Dillon. You're looking at a 1981 Toshiba model number CB967Z 19 inch color TV with remote control. This is a set that I fixed up uh, for somebody and then they bailed on it. So I ended up selling it on eBay and the person's coming to pick it up on Tuesday. So I just wanted to just give you a, an idea of how this thing works and it's a cool set mainly because it's got a detachable remote control. The remote control adheres magnetically to the front panel. And the front panel looks like death, but it's neat. The remote, however, does not work. Uh, I've tried my best to open it up and figure out what it is, but it's just really not worth the time and it looks like death. So if this person wants to grub around for another remote, model CT917, they can get that working. So, uh, to start this set, you've got a, a master power which turns the standby on. If that's not out, you won't be able to turn it on. You can either use the remote or press this button, and the control door opens. And you've got a main power, channel up and down, etc. And you've got horizontal high resolution, which is nothing more than a video sharpness or video peaking control. And then down here, you've got your various uh, contrast, brightness, color, tint, and automatic brightness control. Ah, oh, there goes the camera. Anyway, the automatic brightness control is kind of a cool thing because it uses this photovoltaic sensor to uh, figure out what the brightness in the room should be. But even after tweaking that, it's not perfect. Anyways, uh, this is the first, or one of the earliest machines that has all digital tuning with remote for Toshiba. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. And I think my converter box is on channel 3 or 4. We'll find out in a moment. Let's go ahead and turn that on. 249 per month for a 2018 Escape. All you can is signing is tax title and license. It all ends January. It's got a nice, bright, sharp picture. Typical of the black stripe. It's got a pretty good CRT in it. Just go up and down the dial a little bit. The camera really doesn't show how good the color is. It looks kind of faded in the camera. Looks really good on uh, in person. The person who's uh, buying this, their kid is into vintage video gaming. So they're going to like this. I'm really surprised about how good the uh, colors are. Usually Japanese sets tend to prefer on the side of orange flesh tones and this one is really relaxed and natural. So this is kind of a cool set. I almost hate to see it go but I've got way too many things around here and I've already got sets for vintage gaming myself so I don't really need it. I mean, you can see what the ABC does. I turn on the automatic brightness control and I cover the eye, it gets dimmer and brightens when I take my thumb off it. See, you get dim, bright, dim, bright. The AGC on the camera kind of compensates for that. Also jacks up the contrast quite a bit. And then you've got your color saturation. You've got your brightness, you got your contrast, got your tint, and it's amazing how much the camera tries to compensate for the uh, white balance when the tint goes wrong. But anyway, there it is, 1981 Toshiba, and it's going to go to a new home. Here's your horizontal high resolution. You can see that's just a video peaking control, really. Nothing fancy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. 
More to come soon.